The Odyssey of the Elite Championship is the most exciting championship in independent wrestling, and I am going to explain how a core human desire makes it that way. <laughs> Welcome to Now You Know with Dickie Wabash, where every episode I am going to explain one topic that will make you sit back at the end and say, well, now I know. I want you to do something real quick here for me. I want you to imagine that it is Christmas morning. The anticipation and excitement have been building for weeks. You wake up, run downstairs, and to your surprise, there is a huge stack of presents. You start tearing through them, and so far, you've gotten everything that you wanted. Speaking of things that you want, I really want you guys to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon for the EPW YouTube channel. And while you're down there, why don't you go ahead and click the like button on this video? I would really, really appreciate it. Now don't worry, that feeling of being let down is natural, because what if that would have been a PlayStation 5? What if that would have been a pair of Jordan 1s? What if that would have been a laptop? Much to your surprise, you got everything that you wanted, but you you did it. What if though? What, what if it was those things? And what if is very, very important to core human desires. You're driven by surprise and suspense. That's why as an adult, Christmas loses some of its magic because for all intents and purposes, you pretty much know what you're going to be getting. That childlike sense of excitement is gone. And not to overgeneralize here, I'm just speaking for me personally, I'm always chasing that feeling. And that is why I love this thing called professional wrestling. You're probably sitting back right now thinking, what does unwrapping Christmas gifts have to do with the EPW Odyssey of the Elite Championship? It's a bit of a surprise, huh? Well, sit back and let's actually start talking about the reason you're here. The EPW Odyssey of the Elite Championship is a very unique championship in that there are a specific set of rules that are followed. The title holder must defeat three different challengers, and then those three challengers get their names emblazoned on the championship. Once the Odyssey is complete, the title holder can cash in the Odyssey of the Elite Championship for an EPW Heavyweight Championship match however they see fit, whenever they see fit, trying to surprise the champion. Surprise! You're starting to kind of see the pattern here? Now, once those three names are on the belt and the belt has been cashed in, those three names go on to a triple threat match to determine the new champion. And then a new odyssey starts. Let me just clarify one little thing here too. When you're the odyssey champion, there is no champion's advantage. If you get disqualified, you lose the title. If you get counted out, you lose the title. And obviously, if your opponent pins you or makes you tap out, you lose the title. But I feel like that goes without saying. That's where things get exciting. Because in theory, there could be an endless cycle of Odyssey of the Elite Championship matches. You just never know which way this title is going. Much like Homer's The Odyssey, where the main character, Odysseus, has to go through hell and back just so that he can get home, the Odyssey of the Elite Champion must forge their own path. And that's pretty much where the similarities end, because I don't think the Odyssey Champion is going to have to fight a Cyclops, but, I mean, come on, think about it. How awesome would that be? I've been trying to get them to book a Cyclops for a long time to face the Champion, and they're trying to tell me, no, Dickie, Cyclopses aren't real. And then I'm saying, I don't care, I just think that it would be awesome if you booked a Cyclops. I mean, think about it. Now, imagine that it is the day of an EPW show. You wake up early in the morning, rush downstairs, and to your surprise, everyone is just as excited as you are. The whole family is ready to go out for a good night of wrestling. But what makes it even better is that the EPW Championship is on the line on that night. 
you have a vague idea of how the show could play out, your favorite wrestler is challenging for the EPW Championship, and boy, you would really like to see them win it. So you pull into the parking lot, you go into the building, you have your ticket, you're in your seat, you've been watching the show, it's been a great show so far. You've been seeing matches that you've wanted to see all week. You've gotten everything that you wanted. And then it's time for the main event, the EPW Heavyweight Championship. You get to the show, you get your ticket, you get to your seat, you've got your concession, you've got your popcorn, your drink, everything, you're ready to go. The show starts. Everything has been going great all night. The matches have been awesome. Everyone that you wanted to win so far has been winning. And now it's time for the main event. And what makes that main event even more special is that your favorite EPW wrestler is going to be challenging for the heavyweight title. You sit with bated breath, waiting for the finish of the match. One, two, three. Your favorite wrestler is the new EPW Heavyweight Champion. You could not be more ecstatic. You jump up on your seat. You're so excited. Everyone around you is excited. And then the unthinkable happens. You unwrap a 20 pack of socks. Not literally, you don't have a pack of socks with you that you open, it's a metaphor. The music of the Odyssey of the Elite Champion rings through the Odin Community Center. They come out with that belt high in hand. They are cashing in right now. They want a heavyweight championship match. And then they win. Your favorite wrestler just lost the heavyweight championship. That's not what you wanted to have happen. That was a surprise, a bad one at that, but still yet a surprise. Now, this is not hard to imagine because something like this really did happen. Travel back with me to September of 2022. Johnny Echo has just won a high stakes ladder match to become the new EPW Heavyweight Championship. The crowd rejoices. Johnny Echo is standing atop the Christmas tree with the PlayStation 5 that he wanted for Christmas. And then a 20 pack of socks named Clayton Clark did this. That Grinch himself, Clayton Clark, just stole Christmas. But that wasn't the only surprise that the EPW faithful were in for that night. Is it starting to make sense now? Christmas is an analogy. With anticipation and excitement building, everything had been going the way that you wanted it to. Everything had been going great for you. And then something that you didn't see happening or even wanted to happen for that point happened. Your least favorite wrestler is holding the championship that you want your favorite wrestler to be holding. But that situation could have gone any number of ways. There were multiple different outcomes. A, B, C, all the way to Z. While some outcomes are obviously more possible than others, it's the idea of the never-ending results that are omnipresent. That's what keeps that excitement and surprise alive in us. That's what makes us want to keep coming back for more. The fact of life is we don't always get what we want. If we did, then we would be desensitized to it. The highs would stop feeling high. They would start feeling boring and mundane. We'd be trying to catch that next bit of excitement and finding it would be really, really rough. We need that perfect balance to keep things interesting. Take this for example. 
the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the MCU. Even if you aren't a fan of those movies, you're at least one degree of separation from someone who is. I mean, they're a juggernaut in film. They've conquered pop culture, dominated the film industry for the last 15 years. But there is one key thing about them that doesn't necessarily tie into what I'm discussing here today. So I'm going to tie it in. It's the art of surprise. Not every casual moviegoer that goes and sees a Marvel movie is going to understand that five second reference to an issue of Captain America from 1986. The surprise in Captain America The Winter Soldier that Captain America's best friend Bucky Barnes is the Winter Soldier was no surprise to your hardcore comic fan, but the formula is always the same. The bad guy loses to the hero in dramatic fashion. The suspense of disbelief can only go so far. We know the hero might be on the ropes, but we know he's going to pull through in the end. Well, that's what happened in every Marvel movie until Infinity War. Like I said, Marvel movies all end the exact same way. I'm not throwing shade. I love the Marvel movies. I'm a huge Marvel fan, but every movie in the MCU ended the same. Pretty much every movie in general for that matter. The hero always comes out on top. But in Infinity War, Thanos was successful on his mission and the heroes lost. We never in a million years saw that coming. The heroes always win, but not this time. That came out of nowhere, like a surprise, surprise. That's the beauty of the Odyssey Championship the pure surprise of what's not only going on with that belt, but the repercussions and how they could change the entire landscape of EPW. Think of Akbar cashing in on Johnny Echo as Thanos telling Thor, you should have gone for the head. Think of Kindle Fire completing his odyssey as the heroes traveling back in time and collecting the Infinity Stones. Well, as of the production of this video, we do not know the result of Kindle Fire's cash-in, but based on what I've been talking about here today, it's probably going to be a surprise to a lot of people. Every twist and turn along the way is just one more step to pulling us in. We want to root for the hero. We want to boo the villain. But like I said, we don't always get what we want. Don't expect the unexpected, but accept the unexpected. Embrace that most things are out of our control. Sit back and speculate on what could happen next. And even if you aren't 100% correct, allow yourself to be overcome with a massive sense of surprise. You can't be right all the time. And sometimes if you're wrong, well then that might be the better outcome. So what have we learned here today, huh? What is the thing that you can look back on and say, now I know? Well, most importantly, surprise and suspense is what drives us. And now, full disclosure, look, I'm not a psychiatrist who firmly breaks this stuff down, but I feel like if you take what I said into consideration, I kinda know what I'm talking about. What's the point of going to a stand-up comic if you know what the jokes are? What's the point in going to a fun house if you know what's behind every corner? What's the point in watching Goodfellas if you know what's going to happen in the end? Okay, maybe that was a really, really bad example because I watch Goodfellas like once a month. I love that movie. I thought you said you were all right, Spike. I'm all right. You ain't all right. When we fully engross ourselves in a situation and accept it for what it is, and you can't predict what's next, well, that's just good old-fashioned storytelling and entertainment. That's what makes us love wrestling. These brave men and women go out there and do their best to bring us that entertainment, that suspense, that surprise. You can think you know what might happen, believe in your favorite wrestler just enough, but you can never really know for sure but you can't give up on them because they might lose. It's for the times that they don't win, maybe when they need you the most. That's what keeps you coming back for more and more and more. 
surprise and wrestling go hand in hand. And those are the two main ingredients for what makes EPW's The Odyssey of the Elite Championship the most exciting championship, not only in EPW, but in independent wrestling as a whole. Guys, thank you so much for watching. This was the first episode of what will hopefully be a very long running series. I am very excited to make this happen for the EPW YouTube channel, working together with EPW and Velocity. I feel like Mad Bash Studios has found a really good partnership with us three working together. If you want to see more EPW, well then you're in the right place. You're already at the YouTube channel watching this hopefully, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so that you can stay up to date on everything that we have going on here. If you want more of me, well then you can hear my voice on EPW shows as I work alongside Michael Madrox and Colby Jack doing commentary for every EPW event. But if you want even more of me, don't know why you would, why don't you go ahead and check out the Spot Show podcast. It's a professional wrestling podcast, not about professional wrestling. I co-host it alongside Michael Madrox. It comes out every two weeks. And all you have to do is just search Spot Show with Dickie and Madrox on your favorite podcasting platform. This was a lot of fun. Look forward to more episodes of this. I've got some really cool stuff in mind, not just for this show, but there's also some really cool things that are coming to EPW in 2023. This is going to be a very exciting year for all parties involved. I want to give a huge thank you to Velocity Productions for making me look somewhat professional. I want to give a huge shout out to Elite Pro Wrestling for giving me this opportunity. Thank you guys so, so much. So with that being said, stick around, try to stay up to date with more stuff that's going to be coming out here. We don't necessarily have a set schedule for when these are going to release. That's why you gotta click the bell icon so that you can get notified when this stuff comes out. I'm terrible at outros. I'm just gonna go ahead and say goodbye and hopefully we will see you down the road at an Elite Pro Wrestling event. <laughs>